Hello, and this time we're looking at one and two step solving equations. And if you look on the screen here, I've got uh, a number of examples where there's just one step to getting the solution. But before we go through these examples, when we ask to solve a piece of algebra like this, we have something with uh, some uh, an expression which equals something else and we say to solve, what we're looking for is to find this letter equals a number. We're saying what number of x will make this true? If we put x as 2 in, if we said x as 2, 2 plus 6 is 8 and that does not equal 10. So x does not equal 2. That's not the right answer that we're looking for. And rather than just randomly guessing, we're going to do uh, move these numbers around until we're left with just x on its own, or in this case z, or q, or whatever the letter might be, we want that just on its own. The whole point of this is when we're trying to get rid of a number, we've got to do the mathematical opposite. So if we look at what the opposite is, over here, if we've got a plus a number, then the opposite of that is to take that number away. If we're doing a take away, then the opposite will be to plus. A times is going to turn into a divide, and if we've got a divide, then the opposite is going to times. Now, there are other opposites that we might need for more complicated ones, but we'll just look at these for the moment. So if we do these six examples in turn, the first one says x plus 6. And remember, the point that we're trying to get here is to have x on its own. So this plus 6 is in the way of x being on its own. We need that on its own. This is in the way, so it needs to be got rid of. It needs to be moved over. And to do that, to get rid of it, we do the opposite. It's plus 6, so we need to do the opposite and take 6. That gets rid of it, because 6 take away 6 goes away. Or you can think about it as moving across. We can say, well, if we move it across, it becomes take away 6. It doesn't matter which way around you think about it. Either take 6 from both sides, and that disappears. 6 take away 6 is 0. Or you can think, well, I'm moving it across, and it becomes the opposite sign. But we need to do the opposite maths in order to cancel it or move it, whichever way you want to think about it. Of course, we can actually work this out. We know what 10 minus 6 is. So you would write it underneath. You would write x equals, and you'd work out what 10 minus 6 is. And the answer is 4. Because I've not got a lot of space, I'm going to uh, get rid of that so that I can, I can write some more on. And what you're welcome to do is those bits of, of numeracy in your head. So if you think, OK, I'm going to take away the 6, 10 take away 6, and you can just write down the answer, x equals 4. Exactly the same thing for y here. y is what we want on its own. Solve means find out what y equals. So we have to do the opposite of adding 3. The opposite of adding is to take away. So instead of adding 3, we're going to take away 3 when it comes over to the other side. 8 take away 3 is 5. So in these one-step problems, you can just go straight to writing down the answer because we just do one bit of mental maths, uh, the opposite of what the maths is here. This one, we're back to x. We want x on its own. This 2x is a shorthand way of saying 2 times x equals 10. And the opposite of timesing by 2 is to divide by 2. So we still have the 10. We still have x equals 10. But when this 2 comes across from times, it becomes divide. And it's going to be 10 divided by 2. It's the 2 that's moving, so it's the 2 that becomes divide. And 10 divided by 2, we know is 5. And if we're not sure, you can always use a calculator to actually work that out. Here we've got a z. doesn't matter what the letter is. And it's being divided by 3. So to move this 3, we need to do the mathematical opposite of divide, which is times by 3. The z is still there, the 8 is still there, and the equals, but the 3 is moving up here and becoming the opposite, 8 times 3. And we 
can either work that out in our head or use the calculator and write down it's 24. Exactly the same thing here. We've got a divide, so we do the opposite of dividing by 4, which is to times by 4. 1 times 4 is 4. And the last one here is r take away 7. The opposite of taking away is to add. So we're going to say that r equals, we've got 21, that hasn't moved, but now we're adding 7. And so 21 plus 7 is 28. So in each of these one-step calculations, we have to ask ourselves, what maths is happening to the letter? And then we do the opposite of that maths to the number on the other side. Everything else stays, it's just that that number that we're moving, we're getting rid of, when it comes over the other side, it does the opposite maths. Hang on, pressing the button, it's not doing anything. Now these questions are two-step questions because we can see that there are two numbers in the way. This three is in the way, and this 5 is in the way. And when I say these numbers are in the way, remember what we're aiming for is x equals, just a single x equals a number. And so they're in the way because there's more stuff on this side than just an x. There's a 3 and a 5. We're still going to do the opposite. We're still going to use our opposites before from before where plus is going to turn into a minus, minus is going to turn it into a plus, times is going to turn into a divide, and divide is going to turn into a times. But because there's two things, we've got to work out which one do we do first. And for that, we have to think about the order of operations, bid mass. Now bid mass, obviously we move this way when we're working out the answer. If we were told what x was, we would times those numbers together and then add the 5. But we're not trying to work out this answer 11. We're trying to work backwards to find x. So actually, we're going to work backwards through bid mass. As we undo things, as we do the opposite, we're working the opposite way through bid mass. So here we have 3x plus 5 is 11. The first thing I'm going to get rid of is any adding and subtracting, which is this add 5. So we do the opposite. The opposite of adding 5 is to take 5. So we're going to write the exact same thing out. We've still got the 3x. We've still got the equals. We've still got the 11. But the 5 has moved over and gone from an add to a take away. We've done the opposite. And of course, we can work that out. It's 3x equals 6. And now it's just a one-step calculation like we had before, a one-step equation. We've got a 3. This means 3 times x, so the opposite of timesing is divide. We're going to say that x is 6, that all stays put, and the 3 moves across and becomes a divide, and we know that the answer is that x equals 2. All of these are pretty much the same because they're something times the x and then plus or minus a number. So we can kind of get into a little uh, routine of them. We're going to get rid of the number first by adding this time. Because it's take away, the opposite of take away is to add. So we're going to get 3x equals 32 plus 7, which is 39. And that means that x equals 39 divided by 3. This is times, so we do the opposite and we divide, which gives us 13. We're going to do the opposite of the adding 8, which is taking away 8. So 3a equals 11 take away 8, because when the 8 moves over, we do the opposite. 11 take away 8 is 3, and then we can divide by 3, doing the opposite of the times. So a equals this 3, divided by this 3, a equals 1. And finally, if 2y plus 6 is 18, then 2y... We're going to have to do the opposite of adding 6. When it moves over, we have that equals 18, take away 6, doing the opposite, which is 12. And then do the opposite of timesing by, uh, times by 2 is dividing by 2. So y equals 12 divided by the 2 equals 6. 
Now, there are other questions where things might be written the other way around, uh, where you might have divides. It's not a question of which way around it's written. It's a question of reversing the bid mass. So if you had 6 plus 2y equals 18, I'm not doing this number first because it's on the right-hand side. I'm doing that. I'm doing the number that is added first and then the number that's times reverse bid mass. So even if it's this way around, I'm still going to get rid of that plus 6 by taking it away. And then I'm going to divide by the 2. I hope that helps to see some examples of one-step and two-step solving equations. Until next time, cheerio.